Sis, know your worth. Y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. So y'all today, this video is gonna be for a lot of people in society today. A lot of women have allowed others to dictate their value. A lot of women have allowed others to tell them who they are. When we're supposed to be looking at the word of God, we're supposed to be looking at Christ. So we're gonna look at the word of God today to understand what value we have in his kingdom. Sis, know your worth. Let me ask you this one simple question. What are you valuing, sis, in your life? that God himself does not value at all, that it will have absolutely no value when you get to eternity. We have to understand that a lot of times we look for value in literally all the wrong places. And so we wonder whenever we change this, we don't feel as valuable. The word of God is so clear and it is so true and it helps us to really stay focused on what we should be valuing and how we should be looking at ourselves. So with that being said, we're gonna be in 1 Corinthians this entire video because it is literally so much in there and I didn't even realize it until God revealed it to me. But of course y'all, I gotta start off with a word of prayer before we get started with anything. So let's go ahead and go before the Father. Thank you Father God for just this day thank you god for loving us enough god to put your hand on us to put your value in us god and i pray that today our eyes will be open and our hearts will be ready to receive the message which you have for us today i thank you god that your word is so pure and that it helps us and it guides us god properly to show us how we need to get to where you want us to be so father open up the hearts and the minds of everyone who is listening god and i pray that we will all grow to know our value in the kingdom of God. We love you, God, and I pray that you'll wash us clean. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first scripture we're going to be looking at is 1 Corinthians 3, verse 16. We're going to be reading in the New Living Translation. It reads, Don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God lives in you? You have to understand something about yourself. When God Himself has told you that you are the place that he wants to reside, that has to let you know about how he views you. A lot of times we don't wanna live in certain areas. We don't wanna live in a certain neighborhood because we don't value that place. We don't wanna live in a certain home because it doesn't speak to us because we don't find it valuable. We won't live outside, we won't live in a car, but we will live in a place where we feel like it is valuable. And so that is where God is saying, I am choosing. I choose to live through each and every one of you. We have to understand that firstly, he is the one that is choosing that for us. and we have to understand this that when we choose God's spirit when we choose to allow him into our life and that simply simply comes by reading the word and doing the word it doesn't it says let us not just be hearers let us be doers of the word and so it tells us in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 12 and we have received God's spirit not the world's spirit so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us I'm gonna read that last part again so we can know the wonderful things God has freely freely given us. So this is something free. This is a value that is free to us. With that being said, just because it's free doesn't mean that it's not valuable. So the thing is, God requires a lot out of his people because he has given us much. He says those who has been given much also requires much. And so he's given us something that he deems as valuable. But a lot of times we are walking in the world spirit. We begin to look at the things of the world. We begin to see how the world sees things. So whenever God gives us something, we don't don't see it as valuable. Whenever God gives us his word, whenever God gives us his direction, whenever God gives us a way out of no way or gives us something that we should be seeking after, we don't see it as valuable anymore. We don't see it as something worth value because now we're looking at what the world values. So this is what it tells us about us looking at all the things of the world, whether it be we're looking at a relationship, we're looking at a career, we're looking at money, we're looking at family, we're looking at all of these things that may not be valuable to God, but we figure out what is valuable to us based on how much time we're spending towards something, how much focus we're putting towards something. It tells us in 1 Corinthians 3 verses 12 through 15, New Living Translation, anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials, gold, silver, jewels, wood, hay, or straw, but on the judgment day, fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. The fire will show if a person's work has any value. The fire will show show if a person's work has any value. If the work survives, that builder will receive a reward. But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer 
great loss. The builder will be saved, but like someone barely escaping through a wall of flames. And so all of those things that were listed are things that we begin to build our life on. We build our homes, the things that we stand on. We build everything in society you see built on wood, built on hay, built on gold, built on silver. That is what people value. But you have to understand something that you need to be doing things that will make you valuable to the kingdom of God. What are you looking at when you're going out into the world and you're trying to flash certain things? You have to ask, am I flashing Christ or am I flashing myself? Because ultimately when you chase after those things, when you go after those things, you are ultimately chasing after getting validation for yourself. But God wants us to, to look and to glorify him in everything that we do. So ask yourself, when you're trying to get the opinion of people are they looking and glorifying God or are they glorifying you are they looking and are they giving praise to what the world praises or are they giving praise to God because we we know that our firm foundation is on Christ we know that but it says those foundations that people use they use various materials gold silver jewels wood hay all these things of the earth of the world that will perish one day it doesn't end up holding them during that season it doesn't end up keeping them so you have to understand okay if I'm gonna spend my time looking and valuing this this particular thing I am going to mess myself up so I want you to think about it like this so when you're starting to figure out okay what should I be valuing what should I be doing with my time whatever you value you're gonna start to see results in so if you value your time with God you'll start to see your relationship with God grow you start to see results in different areas of your life but if you value your silver your gold your money your career all these different things that may not ultimately bring forth something worth value you have to ask yourself is it worth it and so a lot of times our judgment will be off a lot of times we may not see certain things we may be looking at it from our perspective but the only way the only way for us to walk in God's spirit is to read his word and is to pray for us to find value in our life regardless of if we have things around us regardless of if we have a house if we have a car if we have all these material things or even if we have clothes or shoes on our back and so Jesus and all his goodness is the most valuable thing in this world but yet he did didn't have all those extravagant things he didn't have a home he didn't have a car a horse anything he valued particular things he valued souls instead of souls like your shoes he valued particular things that ended up growing him to where he was he is the most valuable thing but you have to look at what he valued a lot of times try to go based on our own mindset about what we value but that right there can lead you astray because most of the time it is led by flesh if you're not in your word and if you're not praying if you're not surrounding yourself by a community of believers you will eventually follow the world either you with Jesus or you with the world it's literally no in between you're with one or the other you're eventually gonna follow whatever the world tells you to follow but we gotta be more proactive with that we have to say okay well I want to be on this side I don't want to be wavering I don't want to be lukewarm but I want to be on this side following Christ and I want to know what my worth is so that nobody nobody can make me feel worthless when I don't have the things that they have nobody can pull my attention off of Christ and make me feel worthless because I'm not pursuing the same things they're pursuing. Let's go on to 1 Corinthians 4 verse 3 and 5, New Living Translation. It says, as for me, it matters very little how I might be evaluated by you or by any human authority understand this humans will change their minds they change different things they begin to come up with new trends they change the way that they do things constantly but we we want something stable the good thing about God is that he doesn't change he doesn't change and so your value won't change a lot of women today may find value in having bigger enlargements on their body but 10 years ago they want it smaller and then you keep going back and things keep switching so you have to understand what is your value so we have to ask ourselves okay that value is going to eventually change why am i investing my time why am i investing all of my efforts into something that will eventually give out so now let's keep reading it tells us i don't even trust my own judgment on this point we cannot can not look at ourselves and judge accordingly because of course we're going to be biased we're going to want it to be what we want it to be but we have to look at the word of god and see what our value is we have to see how he created us and what he created us to do it tells us my conscience is clear but that doesn't prove i'm 
right mm. it doesn't privilege your rights so understand your value is not in your success your value is not determined by what you've done that is right your value is solely determined by what Christ has done for you because that is what God is going to be using that is what God is going to be looking at in your life and so then it keeps reading it is the Lord himself who will examine me and decide it's not you when you get to heaven will say well Lord I'm doing better than them Lord I'm doing this and that I'm, do I'm doing this but God is going to say no you're using your own standard I wanted you to use my my standard. I wanted you to look at my way of doing things. And so we get in the mindset of looking at, oh, I'm doing better than them, so I should be fine. I'm, I'm not as bad as them, but so I should be fine. So maybe I'm more valuable, but you have to ask yourself, okay, well, who is going to be judging? Who is the judge of that? What standard are you using? Because when you use God's standard, you'll see it from God's perspective. And you will begin to understand that your own judgment isn't enough. It isn't going to do anything good for you in the long run when it comes to God looking at your life. It doesn't matter what you think. It matters only what the word of God says. It's only what is truth. And then it keeps reading. So don't make judgments about anyone ahead of time before the Lord returns, for he will bring our darkest secrets to light and will reveal our private motives. Then God will give to each one whatever praise is due. Understand this. This is where your, your value begins to come in, sis. Listen listen now it tells us that we should be valuing those things that will last valuing not a person's shoes not a person's home but valuing a person's soul we should be valuing it enough not to just invest money or think that it is a money thing but now we're investing time now we're investing energy now we're investing ourselves into somebody so understand this before you try to rule anybody out and say oh they're too far gone I'm just not even going to say anything to them about Christ. Our biggest value in life is Christ. That is what we are the most valued for. Whenever people get a new car, whenever people get a new home, then they start bragging. They start talking about it. Say, everyone, yeah, I just got this. Yeah, I just got that. But why don't we do that with the most valuable thing that we all have possession of? Or if you have accepted Christ, have possession of. We should be talking and, and screaming off to the rooftops about the value of Christ, about the value of who he is to us. That, sis, is where you find your value, is you understanding what the word of God tells you to do and in your obedience you find your value because now you understand it's not a matter of what you do it's not a matter of what they do it's a matter of Christ and what he has done for you and so you understand no matter what anybody else says but it's all a matter of what God has said it's all a matter of what God puts value in and when you start putting value in those same things you'll start to see how valuable you are to the whole body of believers. I don't know what you have going on, sis. I don't know what the world has told you. I don't know if you were walking by the world's spirit or you were walking by God's spirit, but understand, anything you see physical has nothing to do with your value. Understand that it is all internal. It is all going on in your spirit. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, what have I been looking at that has been physical, that has determined my worth in my eyes? And what do I need to change? And the only way you're going to know what you need to change is by going directly to the Word of God. Since God already knows our darkest secrets. God already knows what we've done in our past. That does not determine our value. It does not at all. Because if it determines our value, then Christ wouldn't have died for it because it wouldn't have been valuable. Christ isn't looking at all those things that we did in our past to determine how valuable we are, to determine if he should fight for us. No, he fought for us out of his love. If you haven't gotten anything else from this video, understand that the world or anyone else cannot tell you your value. That it's not about you performing. It's not about you doing a specific thing. You get in this success, you get in that. Understand if you failed at certain things that the world has said is good, that doesn't determine who you are as a person. And that our value that we may know that we have, it may look worth this to the world. The world may not see it as valuable. But we know that the word of God is the truth. We will stand before him and we will be seen as a valuable vessel that he will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So make sure that you're focusing on the right things and you are valuing the right things in this world. and You'll be set for life. And just a little bonus tip. Just a little bonus tip. Stay around people who are glorifying God. Stay around people who find their value in God because they'll make you feel valuable. They'll help you to see your value because now once you see what, it, what God is doing in their life, you begin to to see that the things that they're doing are very valuable to their joy, very valuable to others around them. It may not just be that you get something out of that value, but you giving value. Always look to give rather than just to receive. Because that was how Christ was. He looked to gave 
rather than to receive. So know that you are valued in the eyes of God. Know that God is looking at you and he has chosen you to go out and spread the gospel. He could have did it himself. He chose all of us to work together in the right way to glorify him. That was literally the whole purpose. That's our value. It's literally a servant. Everyone is going to be seen as a servant to God. No one is going to be, oh, you're this pastor, you're this bishop, or oh, you're this businessman, you're this CEO, or you're this mother or father. He's going to be looking at his servants. We are all his servants. And did we do what the master said? And that right there is where we will find our value. So I want to say thank y'all so much for watching this video. Drop a comment down below if there's any other topics that you guys would want me to talk about and that we as women may struggle with and that we need to get into the word and kind of narrow down and fix what's going on with our mindsets on certain things thank y'all so much for watching and y'all i gotta close out in prayer so let's pray and then we'll be done dear heavenly father i just thank you for this video god i thank you just for everyone who was able to learn something from you god and understand that their value is not determined by their success by anything else in this world that will perish but i thank you god that their value will be determined by your your word it'll be determined by how you view us God so help us to imitate you God and do everything that you've called us to do God and be obedient God help us not to look to what the world can give us but help us to look to what we can give your people God and bring how we can bring you God to the world so God I just pray that you'll watch over them God and just protect them God and give them a boost of their value as they go out into the world we love you and we thank you and it is in Jesus name that I pray amen thank y'all so much for watching I'll see y'all in the next video bye